Hello, this is a quick test and installation of this 22.5 watt super fast charging DIY 21700 battery power bank from AliExpress. It's at the Balance Fit store and this cost $12.40 each or 12, just one. 12 one is just for $12.40 Canadian. So for the price you pay, it's very small compared to what you're getting. The main attractive feature of this particular power bank is that it uses spring-loaded uh, mechanisms to fit in the batteries, so it's very easy to install, and then you can easily change out the batteries and put in new ones. And um, yeah, it's nothing. Nothing is permanent. So the trade-off is that it is slightly bigger and bulkier than a traditional or another power banks which are more compact but i think it's well worth it just for the ease of installation as well as servicing and replaceability customization of the batteries as well if you have a custom battery wrap you can even show it off right here from odb wraps or some other companies or from etsy so that's also a nice little artistic touch to have to this so i believe this ho hooks them up in parallel configuration they advertise it as, as 20,000 ma, 20,000 ma, which if you put 5,000 ma, 21,700s, it's 5, 10, 15, 20. So that's 20,000 ma or 20 amp hours in 5 volts or 3.7 volts, sorry. So let's go ahead and install this. And first I'll show you what you can get inside the box here though. Okay, let's remove it here. If I see here, okay. Where is the entrance? Okay, so let's just see on there. Oops. Oh. Okay. Okay, it's a cover plate. Clear case. Screwdriver and a bunch of screws in here. Okay. So it just slots in like that. Okay, so this one I believe. Can you remove this one? No, I think this one side here is. It's factory glued together. I don't think you can replace it, but that's okay. Oh, no, you can. Sorry. It's got screws right here. But don't worry about it right now. So it just goes like that. And then they just... I really like this design. There's no snapping tabs like the other ones, which make it difficult to take off or tear apart. These ones just go in like this, and then they just screw in. So it's super easy to take out and then... Put in another set of batteries. So I'm really liking this design. Okay. Let's quickly look at the batteries that I'll be using. So I ordered these from AliExpress as well. These are 21700s from Lito Kala. And they work out to roughly $4.20 each. They look pretty good, high quality. I'm test still, still testing them out. And they came here very quick, fairly fast, considering it's from China Alley. So these took only about two or three weeks to get here. And I, I thought it would get lost. I thought it would get delayed. I thought, you know, a number of things could happen, but no, they're here. Well, look at these ones, LI50E. 5,000 ma. These are look very well, very good quality cells look like from the wrapping and, and the production and the labeling. So let's quickly test the voltage out on these guys. Okay. Oh, it's hard to get here. Here you go. 
3.54, probably one of the easiest power banks I've made. Okay, follow the signs, positives there. Okay, let's try to get the label facing out and all facing the same direction. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's it. Press the power button here. 12%. Oh, I hate it when they're, oh, no, they're upside down. This is a power meter. Let's see how well it does. Do you see that? Let's charge this guy. Twelve volts, one point six, one point seven amps, twenty watts. You can see that it's charging in here as well. Twelve volts, one point five amps. So it's taking battery from here, energy from here, sorry, and putting it into this other one. Let's try it the other way around now. Let's reverse the direction. Okay, and there's oh, two ports here, it's upside down, sorry. There you go. Okay, 9.1 volts, 1.9 amps, same as in the meter, 17 watts in. I forgot to mention one other neat feature of this pow particular power bank. So if you press the uh, power button here and just hold it down, the LED lights come on, which is a nice little feature. A lot of these power banks seem to have them. I don't think it's really necessary, but it's nice to have. And you can't adjust the brightness. You can't change the pattern or blinking pattern or anything. It's just either on or off. So just keep that in mind. You hold the button again to turn it off for over two, over two seconds, and then it's off. And then if you pr quickly press it, it shows the, the capacity or the remaining amount here. Based, I believe it's based on the voltage reading. So 